Hello everyone. In this video, you will see our pilot in normal cruise flight at 1,000 feet until a hydraulic failure happens. This is the trajectory of the helicopter during the emergency procedure. You will notice that the angle is shallow compared to the normal landing profile. Here we are in cruise. Once the failure is identified, reduce the power and reduce the speed. Safety speed is around 40 to 60 knots. The accumulator pressure keeps the control forces low during the deceleration. Once the safety speed is reached, switch off the hydraulic system to avoid any asymmetric loads. Now all the controls will become stiff. Head for the airfield and perform a shallow approach. Aim for the threshold for a running landing. The controls will be stiff until shutdown. The faster you go, the heavier the control forces will be. Therefore, as much as possible, keep to the safety speed. Perform a shallow approach, focusing on the touchdown point. The cyclic forces will be to the back and to the right. So apply the necessary force against this. When the airspeed decreases, the control forces will increase. Remember not to hover, but to perform a running landing around 10 knots. Once you're on the ground, keep the aircraft straight with the pedals and gently lower the collective until you stop. Then set the engine to idle, lock the collective and apply the shutdown procedure. Thanks for listening. 